This is a bouquet of uh, various aster plants, specifically New England aster that I have in my yard, and just laying them out on the table here. Just from buying them from various nurseries, local and uh, mail order, I have assembled a genotype. There are several genotypes here. This one started flowering mid-June and, you know, sporadically produced blooms well into the, uh, you know, now, but it never really had a, a huge flush of flowers, so there's that type. I'm told that type's more typical of the Midwest. There's another one that started flowering sort of August, September-ish. Another one definitely flowered in August. And then there's another one that I have locally that really doesn't flower till the end of September and then mid-October. You can see it still has blooms here, but that pretty much does it for New England asters. There's another species that just starts to flower right when the last of those happen. It's called Georgia Aster. And right now in my garden it's probably the only thing that's really flowering. You can see uh, goldenrod way back here in the meadow garden. is still has some blooms on it, but it's, it's finishing up. But it's, I almost find it hilarious because this is the only plant flowering. I have th two or three other specimens in the garden elsewhere. This is the most floriferous of them. But it almost always has two bumblebees working the dozen or so blooms that are on this plant. And I never really noticed this uh, aster until it finally does flower because the foliage looks very similar to other, like a New England aster, which is almost a weed in my yard at this point. Flowers are a little scraggly looking, but other than that, I mean, it's the only thing flowering now. You can't really complain. Anyway, this is the Georgia Aster.